the famous Apple Gradient Background Text Effect, and in this video, I will show you how you can easily do it too with Elementor. All with the newest version 3.33 they just released. No additional plugins or custom CSS needed. We can do this very easy with the new editor now. But please pay attention that V4 is still in alpha, and I also just use it for testing and not on real websites yet. So, today I'm going to show you two easy background effect methods that you can do with the new V4 version of Elementor. So, in the new editor, I start by adding a container and setting a background image just like we always did. Nothing special here. Now I add one of the new atomic elements, the updated heading widget, and place it in the center. I do that by selecting the container, opening the layout settings, and setting justify content to center, and align items to center. Let's focus on the heading. First, style it. Open the style tab, pick a font family, choose a weight, and set the font size. Right, we actually need to type in the title first. After that, adjust the letter spacing if you want a cleaner look. Now we want the gradient background. Open the background tab, choose overlay, and switch it to gradient. You will see the default gradient behind the whole widget, but that will change soon. Add your colors, and to insert another one, just click in the middle of the color bar. Set the angle to 121 degrees. Close that panel, choose text clipping, and now we have to make the text color transparent. And this is where Elementor still behaves a little weird. If I try to drag the transparency slider to the left, nothing happens. Same thing with the text color. The slider does nothing. So here's the trick. Pick any different color first, move it once, and now the transparency slider suddenly works. Please, Elementor, fix this. But as you can see, the effect works now. Since we are using the new V4 editor, we can save everything as a global class. Click the three dots, choose Convert to Global Class, give it a name, and you are done. And because transparency is still buggy, I already created a variable for a transparent color. So I clear the manual color, go to my variables, select the transparent background variable, and that is it. Now I want to show you how to spread one gradient across multiple elements. Here you can see four separate heading widgets. The gradient starts on the top left and ends on the bottom right, across all of them together, just like Apple does it. But if we don't use this little trick I'm going to show you, it looks like this. Same four widgets, but the gradient clipping only applies to each widget individually. The colors repeat and do not flow across the whole group, which is not what we want. Here's the simple fix. Place all your heading widgets inside one container and add a div block. In the new atomic elements, this is just the regular div element. Put your headings inside that div. The trick is to apply the text clipping to the div block instead of each individual heading. Select the div, open the style tab, and follow the same steps as before. Open the background section and paste your linear gradient. By the way, I added all the gradient values in the video description so you can copy them easily. Then, choose text clipping. Set the text color to transparent and make sure each heading widget also uses a transparent color. In my case, under typography, I pick my transparent background variable.
And that is it. The gradient now spreads across all headings as one smooth piece. It is a small detail, but the new editor makes this process surprisingly simple. Let me know in the comments if you want a tutorial on the smooth zoom effects Apple uses on this website too. And once the V4 editor is stable, I will share my templates so you can download them and try everything yourself. If you found this helpful, feel free to subscribe for more quick Elementor breakdowns.